are united across the political divide. The two teams were unable to agree on the need and the means to reduce the cost of living. This is why we have, we have described the document the committee presented as imperfect and unfinished. It was not for lack of trying on our part that the committee was unable to agree on the issue of cost of living. Kenyans will recall that at the beginning of the talks, the Kenya Kwanzaa administration was adamant that cost of living would never be taken to the discussion table, let alone being discussed. The Kenya Kwanzaa had insisted that the only issues it was ready to discuss were the reconstitution of the IBC, implement, of implementation of the two-thirds gender rule, entrenchment of constituency development fund, establishment and entrenchment of the office of the leader of the opposition, and the embedment of the office of prime cabinet secretary. Through persistence and insistence, we forced cost of living onto the table. We had hoped that as the talks progressed, when life got harder for Kenyans, Kenya Kwanzaa leaders could have the empathy, soften their hearts, and agree to lessen the burden their policies had imposed on Kenyans. Our delegation pushed for the complete overhaul of the Finance Act 2023 which had come with harsh taxation measures and made, uh, made and continue to make life unbearable to an overwhelming majority of Kenyans. At no expense to the government, we deployed our team, we deployed our, our team of economists to recommend to the administration measures which, if adopted, would immediately bring the cost of living down. We asked the government to reduce travel budgets by 50%. We also called on the government to reduce the daily subsistence allowances for state and public officers by 30%. We further asked the government to reduce the road maintenance levy and the anti-adulteration levy by 5 shillings and 3 shillings per litre respectively. Our team further asked the government to reduce VAT on fuel from 16% to 8%. We called on the government to scrap the housing levy or at least make it voluntary. Unfortunately, Kenya Kwanzaa would not budge. Apparently, the regime's economic policies hardened life for Kenyans, so did the regime harden its heart. We realize that without the goodwill of the top echelons of the Kenya Kwanzaa leadership, cost of living was never going to be addressed. They told our team that the cost of living was a government issue, that they have a manifesto and the mandate of the people of Kenya to implement it. This is the hustlers, the Juakali, the Mamamboga and the Boda Boda. Our team realized that the whole issue of cost of living is extremely sensitive in the Kenya Kwanzaa circles because it is a gravy train on which many corrupt interests have converged. Cost of living cannot come down because the, the key people in the government are eating from it. That is why cabinet secretaries and other Kenya Kwanzaa shareholders recently fought over oil in the high seas. We got to understand that the housing levy, which even the courts have now found to be unconstitutional, cannot be scrapped because it is a gravy train. It is from this levy that the Kenya Kwanzaa hopes to build a campaign war chest for the next election. They forget that they may not get there. 
We realize that Kenya 